All right, so today I'm here to walk you through three excerpts for solo viola. After I play through the excerpts, I'm gonna walk you through a couple tips that helped me when I was learning these. If you haven't subscribed, definitely press that subscribe button and I'll see you at the end of the video. One, two, Excerpt number two, quarter note equals 96. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> quarter note equals 100. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> to move it up to 144. Now when you practice, I would recommend doing more speeds in between. Here we go, 144. Two, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> these excerpts and a couple different practice tips. So excerpt number one, get on a metronome and work with it. The rhythm here is not actually that tricky, but it's much easier if you practice it with a metronome. That being said, the rhythm right before 142 is surprising, where we have short, long, make sure you get that right. I had to redo this recording just because of that rhythm. Um, I would recommend going into a position like second or third around 147, 148. And also right in the bowings, it's very easy to get the bowings wrong on this excerpt. In our second excerpt, we get sort of a break. It's not that fast. I would recommend in 23 into 24 that you start paying attention to the pattern that happens. 23 into 24, it's FF. 24 into 25, it's EE. 25 into 26, we break the pattern, it's ED. And then 26 into 27, it's CC. So we kind of expect the same note to happen. That pattern does change 25 into 26, so just be aware of that. Also, the rhythm in 27, it's very easy to miscount that. Make sure you get a whole beat of rest there. And then in 29, the pattern is a little different than expected. I throw an accent in on the second beat of 29 so that I kind of reset that pattern of four. Um, it's My brain expects to hear four Bs and four Es. Instead, we have two Bs and six Es, all right? Cool, so that's excerpt number two. And then finally, our third excerpt today. Definitely start by working on the section at N. 
And if it's overwhelming to take in all those double stops, it was for me, I would recommend start with like the top line and then slowly add in the second line. Aim for playing double stops there, but start by playing single notes. If it helps in, let's see, the if N is measure one, so measure three, um, that C sharp, A sharp, you can think of the A sharp as a B flat, make sure you're playing a B flat there. Um, and then our D sharp, uh, wow. And then our D sharp, B sharp, that is actually the same as E flat and C natural. So um, thinking about the enharmonic equivalence there can be really helpful. So just play the top line and then play the second line and then slowly put them together. Uh, it's easier if you go slow at first. And then the runs, I'd recommend third position, and this is the second line from the end, second measure from the end of that line, where we start on a G. I would go into third position right before that, and then for that measure, four, four, three, two, one, open, three, two. So go up to third position, and then shift on the open A, and also note that the fermata occurs at the end of the excerpt on a rest, not on the note. So you can actually count that final chord for three beats and get off of it. And then our fermata or our extra time will happen on the rest. All right, cool. The other really big tip with the third excerpt is, oh my goodness, please do not start at 144. Play through once at 144 if you want, just to get a sense of where your technique needs to be to get it that fast, but then practice it slowly. Get it under control at a slower tempo and then gradually speed it up. All right, these are really great excerpts. They are challenging each in their own way, and I always like to stack the hardest techniques first and then make the easier stuff come in later. So. In this case, I would suggest maybe starting with the third excerpt, spending more time on that one, and then as you get comfortable there, work in the second and first excerpts. All right, thanks for joining me today. I hope that these tips were helpful. I look forward to seeing you next time. Subscribe, and happy practicing.